Hi everyone, I want to take you on a trip with me to Alaska. Our first stop was in Sitka, um, where we got to see eagles, bears, and totem poles. Presumably she got hit by this a car. eagle right here was injured. Left eye she about had fallen blind. on the road um, and it had some nerve damage, went blind in one eye. And she flies about 10 seconds slower than the rest of the birds. So they kept her in the public viewing because she cannot be released back into the wildlife and survive. So the animals that cannot be released back into the wildlife, whether they have a broken acromion, which is in their shoulder where they can't fly, or they're blind or they have nerve damage, they have them where people can interact with them, view them. They're kind of spoiled. I don't want to say domesticated, but once they're uh, interacting with humans like this, it's really hard to be released back into the wild. So it was great to see the two sections of this rescue center because there's very few birds on the outside, which was great to see. And then there was a lot of birds on the inside. The birds on the inside actually can't even see the humans because they're separated by a filter. When they are uh, being rehabilitated, they stay inside of a fly center where they do not have any human contact, very reduced, so once they release them, they're not uh, used to flying down to see humans or getting the food, etc. So this is the fly center. Again, it's difficult to see. They have different uh, tints on the windows as well as screens and it's sound so the birds can't hear anything they can't see anything and they stay in this fly zone until they're flying properly and at proper speeds so it was it was just really amazing to see after the eagles they had um mostly eagles and owls which was crazy because in the zoos and estuary centers where I'm from in Florida, those are the rarest birds there. and they were the most common in this. Alaska. I saw Did eagles in the wild as well as oh, in wow. shelter. So when the male and female are mating, they go high in the sky and then they do a death ball, she said, a spiral. And if the girl doesn't like the guy at the bottom of the spiral, she slams him like a wrestler and finds a new man. <laughs> so that was a cool mating story. And after learning about the bears, I mean the birds, we went to the bears. I love bears and we met these two sisters. They were brown bears. The lady said brown bears are nice, black bears are cray cray. I don't know why this video is sped up while they were eating lemons. It was great to see them in the habitat and they were saved from being put down for being a nuisance. And a nuisance means they just got too close to humans where they were trying to eat or something like that. And that's really sad because in a place like Alaska, you can see it's such wildlife and these bears don't know the difference. They're probably one? just walking around. They don't know that it's a home or they shouldn't be there. I mean, they had because to be really, the humans went into their home. Okay. There was berries all over the island. Of course, we asked first if these were edible berries. Um, you can look at apps on your phones, but I stuck with the ex experts and we just went around picking berries everywhere. Okay. Blueberries, raspberries, all types of berries. After that, we went to a totem park and it was pretty amazing to see these totem poles restored and they do it the exact same way they were originally created. It's absolutely fabulous that they're restoring the culture for the natives because people that are very wealthy would come, take the totem poles, and they would say, okay, but I only want it to be this height. And they would chop off part of the totem pole. And this was breaking down the story because a totem pole is a story from beginning to end. So when you take a piece away, it really ruins the history of the totem pole. So that was amazing to see. And Alaska itself is just definitely a bucket list item to do. The most beautiful flowers in the world that I've ever seen, the most beautiful scenery. There was an amazing woman who was a dog sledder and she was like the first of its kind. Her name was Mary and her original sled was up on this lodge and this young kid told a really wonderful story about it. It was one of my favorite parts of the whole lodge experience is listening to this kid's story. He was very educated. Mm. <laughs> My son walked around the Sorry, island sweet. and he ate berries of all kinds. They're, I mean, they're just oh. everywhere. The whole island That's is so berries. Nice. 
I don't think he would ever go starving on this island. Just walking around in nature, we saw blueberries, raspberries, uh, <laughs> just so many more berries. There was tons of mosquitoes, I have to tell you that. So you have to have some type of natural repellent. Here's some of the, the fruits that they had over there. And guess what? I got to drive the seaplane back home as the co-pilot. And if you can see the mouse traps on the wheel, I wasn't allowed to technically drive. They didn't know my dad drives Cessna and I co-piloted before, but I got to sit in this most amazing view back home, looking at the scenes from all directions. Such a blessing. So if you guys have not been to Alaska, I would definitely go. And if you don't do any excursions at all, I would definitely visit the glaciers in Juneau. That was fabulous. I would go see the bears, eagles, and totem poles in Sitka. Just walk around and enjoy the views. You don't have to always pay for zip lining and all these tourist attractions. Um, some places are known for whales, sightseeing. So definitely look at the reviews Ready? on TripAdvisor because look. people definitely speak their mind, whether they like it or not. And the reviews are pretty accurate. One of the tours canceled on us last minute but then we ended up on this tour, which was totally meant to be. We got to see whales flipping and flopping in the ocean. I got we had it, a babe. juvenile whale in front of us with his mom and dad, and it was just giving us a show. As we were whale watching, we went by a set of rocks that had a bajillion seals on them. So that was cool. And not a bajillion seals, but maybe 40 or 50 on the location. That guy that you saw there, he was the little loner that didn't need to be in the pile of other seals, but right next to the seals was also a wild eagle in a tree, so beautiful and majestic, right there for us to see. And this is common in Alaska, but for me and for most, it's just such a breathtaking experience if you're in the present moment. And this is why you have to truly trust that you are where exactly where you should be because we could have stayed on the boat freaking out over our whole day being canceled last minute but instead of that i just looked up what is a great thing to do and we're doing it and having the best time of our lives so family first it was great to connect and again explore the island i miss my own animals at home bugsy and pixie we love them so much and the best flowers ever so I wish I could have bought myself a bouquet every day. I don't know where they come from, but they're amazing.